All right, it's on. It's working. It's finally working. 2015 Chrysler 200 rear brakes with electronic e brake. Okay, get a 17 millimeter. Hold this bolt in here if you want. I already got, I already got it loosened because I already tried to start. So basically, you're gonna hold that with a 17 and get a 10 at the bottom of here, you know, or 11 16 standard. And then you want to loosen up this bolt. Try to show you is this. And then loosen up the 10 millimeter bolt on the end. That's basically it. Give me one second, I'm gonna take this out. I don't know what this is. They call them things the green machine. The what? Green machine. Yeah, there was, there was a seat, but it's gone. Okay, anyways, once you get that 10 millimeter bolt out, looks like this. You get that out, and you can lift this up. You can lift that up just like that, okay? And you can let it sit there if you like that if you want. And this is going to be the hard part, because this requires a special tool. And if you don't have that special tool, then it's going to be fun, okay? It ain't going to be real hard if your car is newer, but if it's a couple year older model and it has this setup on it, I guarantee you like five years down the road, this is not going to spin in by the way the method I'm about to do, which is a pair of these. This is all you need. Okay, it's going to be a little hard though, and then you got to twist them, the little tits in there, and you have to spin them in until the caliper piston goes all the way in. Let me see if I can set this up perfectly here to see this. Gotta make sure your e-brake is off too during this job. You don't want your e-brake on. Okay, you wanna try to get in here and bite two of these. This is gonna be a little fun here. Let me put my light in a better spot. If I had the right tool, I wouldn't be slipping like that. But, I mean, I don't have the right tool, and I'm using one hand to hold the phone. There we go. Got to turn there. And this is going to slowly go in. We're going. We're going. We're coming out of the whole way out of there. You can see you can slide this top one off like this too, right out of there. You know. But I was leaving it on there just to give me a little something extra. Yeah, I'm trying to make a little video action on it. Yeah, YouTube is it, it anymore, you know, it helps. Like I said, it'd be nice if I had the actual spinning tool. I got a caliper tool set up from Maco, but it does not have this three prong one in it. So I have to cheat until I get the tool in here. Almost there. Yeah. Yeah, there ain't really no video on YouTube on these ones yet. Really? Yeah, there's ones for non-electric um, setups, but this has got the electric e-brake setup on it. But they don't have any video on it. I don't know if the non-electric um, setup, it probably doesn't have 
this style caliper and piston on it maybe I'm thinking because that that's a still manual that's the piston for the caliper you actually got to twist this down back in to get the new brakes on you got to turn it in now I'm about where I need to be I believe because I can see it's starting to bunch up the rubber a little bit yeah so next time you can try it yourself orange huh it's not that hard and then his goal is to get that piston back into there. Once that's all the way down to about right where I got it now, that's about good. You know, then the old brakes, just like any other brakes, you slide them out with the holders. This is basically it. I said there's still some life on these ones. Let me see. I'll grease these. Let's see how I fit in here, anyways. And start these in on an angle. Like that. And if they fit really tight, then there's a good chance you got rust behind the hardware. I'm going to take this back off and grease all these ends, anyways. Just wanted to get that popped in there. And then let me see here. I'm gonna slide this back into here. Let's see, we close right back down. That's the new brakes on. Like I said, I'm gonna go over to just grease these ends real fast and then uh, gr um, grease the uh, pins too up here. I'll put a little grease on this. And that's it, that's the basic job on this. Took me roughly in the video seven minutes of fighting. Like I said, I already had this bolt pre loosened, but video shows it all and what you need to do. Make sure the e brakes off, like I said, before you start this job. That's all. Thank you.